All right, I was gonna give you the quick video here for the driver's side CB axle. <clears throat> the tough part about this job is, um, well, they're okay, they're easy, but it just take time. You, you, you just have to have a, the right angle to uh, put this CB axle in there. There's that half shaft right here with the bracket that bolts to the back of the block. And this side right here, it goes into the transmission. So make sure this thing is clean. And where the seal rides on, make sure that's clean. So, yeah, just quickly show you how this thing go in there. Let's get started. I don't know if you can see this. Hmm. Well, kinda. Get the lights in there. There you go. There, that's that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna try to put this um this um what do you call this thing <clears throat> this wishbone trying to put the the wishbone out like the fork trying to put the CV asshole in the middle there you go that's good So that lined a little bit up. Now I'm gonna work on the inside with the transmission. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Bring it up. there. So it's not pushing but in the transmission yet, but I'm gonna go in there and make sure you get the right angle. Make sure it's straight when it goes in and this bracket right here, make sure it doesn't uh, get caught when you're trying to push it in. Uh, make sure it doesn't get caught on the on, on the block. Um, and then one on the CV axle side close to the wheel, make sure that's freely, that it would, that there's nothing that hits when I'm trying to push it in. All right. Then bring this three bolts with you down there. This bolts it's for that for the for that bracket for, for that bracket that bolts it down to the back of the block. Push it in. 
lift it up. Okay, I got no. I can lift it up, but I can't push it in. <laughs> here this bracket right here it's buggered up and there you go so make sure it's straight and you push it in lift it up push it in a little bit more Open it. bolts line up the hole in the bracket line up still to the block and just check here make sure you're in there and give the goods hit again Sure, don't cross thread it this bolt because uh, so I've seen a couple of vehicles that it's not tight all the way in because it's cross threaded. Make sure lift up the bracket, CV axle, lift it up while you're spinning the bolt. <clears throat> lift it up and spin the bolt. Every bolt I do is a, I always hand tight it, hand tight. It's quicker than you using the ratchet. When it's snug, like now, that's when I use the the ratchet. Oh, can't use the impact. Four pin mill on those three bolts. Probably gonna need this uh, yeah, extension. Snug again. I'm gonna get an extension here. Let's try this two inch extension for the top bolts. Yeah, that worked. Snug again. A snug. And last bolt. So when they're all snug, give a good tug. That's tight. 
Another one. Oh, here we go. And then the last one. Mm, that's good. Just checking the axle seal. See if that's what I can see in there. That's it. No. Turn on. Turn on. So that's uh that's how you put that CV axle on the driver's side. And then now continue doing the control arm CV axle. Um, bolt joints brackets you know normal stuff that's it and put this That's it. Um, I'm not gonna continue doing this. I know you you guys know how to do this. What's the rest? If you want to watch the how to do this, put everything back together. I have a, on a video um, before this video. Um, it's on the right side. So obviously it's the same thing. And yeah, thanks for watching.